and here I am at Kelly's Island, Ohio, up on Lake Erie, and I'd like to give you a tour of these glacier grooves, as they are the most famous glacier grooves in all of the world. So, uh, let me give you a tour, and let's check it out. If anybody knows snow, it's somebody who lives in Ohio, right? So we know, we love this snow, it piles up, creates snow days, oh please, another one, okay? We all wish and hope for one, right? Well, think of a snow day that just keeps happening and happening and happening. It just keeps piling up that snow. If you've ever been in a dog pile or anybody sat on top of you, you're, if you're the person on the bottom, you feel that pressure. Okay, building up. You might break a rib, hopefully not, but you might feel that pressure that's building up on you. Okay, same thing happens with the snow. That snow is going to keep piling up, piling up, piling up, and the stuff on the bottom is going to solidify even more and become a sheet of ice. And that is what makes a glacier. And it just keeps making a bigger, bigger sheet of ice. And so that, that's what has happened here is think of a giant sheet of ice on Ohio, Michigan, all over the place a long time ago. So what has happened is it's very cold, very wet, and eventually the sheet of ice starts to move. It starts carving out this land. And that's what we see here is these great, awesome glacier grooves here up in, up in Kelly's Island. It's beautiful here. It's not a sheet of ice anymore, but we still get to enjoy it. Now this sheet of ice is not moving very fast. It's maybe moving an inch, maybe two a day. Um, so it's not moving very fast, but still over time can cause a pretty cool effect. The reason we get to keep these glacier grooves is because of the shutting down of all the quarries that were on Kelly's Island. It was very expensive for the quarries to run because they had to go all the way over Lake Erie, about a half hour ferry ride now, I don't know what it was then, and it was very expensive to ship those limestone pieces over the lake. It was just cheaper to do in Michigan and other parts of the country, so they shut down the quarries on Lake Erie. Um, we get to keep it. It's very impressive. It's 396 feet long, 25 to 35 feet wide, depending on where you're standing, and 15 feet deep. So this was not all just carved out by just a sheet of ice. The ice alone does not just carve this out. What happens is, think of a giant tidal wave it's go of ice, not just water, frozen water, pushing trees over, changing the course of streams. It's going to be carrying the rocks, the trees, the, the logs, everything with it, okay? Again, this is moving very, very slowly, but it's still destroying all of the land and all of the rocks that come with it. Now, when it picks up a rock, it's going to drag it along with it. And so that is what it is actually carving it out. It is that rock that is being carried with it, carving it out. So you can see different types of grooves, smaller grooves and bigger grooves. It's amazing that it has carved out this beautiful structure of land with all these different types of rocks. And we still get to enjoy it. 